Okay, welcome back. Well, we've completed the whole conversion project on this cheap um, action cam. So this is now a full spectrum action cam. I have on here right now a 720 nanometer IR filter and uh, actually works pretty good. So one of the things I wanted to do is um, to show you some video, what it looks like, what some of the stuff you can do with it. Because I'll get into a little bit more detail in a future video on how to process some of this, but let's in, in short kind of talk about what we have here. So I'm gonna play a little bit of uh, some videos in the corner. And one of the things, um, I love shooting IR in cemeteries. I mean, it just sort of fits with the eerie feeling, right, that you get with IR. And plus there's a lot of, uh, in a cemetery near me, evergreen trees, and you can see the wood effect and things like that. In, in IR but one of the other really cool things you can do is you can flip the color channels um, in IR to come up with false colors that are rather interesting and what you do is you swap the red and blue channels now you have to really look for an application to do this I use uh, cinema effects on the Apple to do it which is really sort of a um, uh, purpose fit program it's only like six dollars in the apple app store and it gives you a ton of filters and abilities and one is color matrix to flip the colors you can kind of see over there as i'm talking how i have the raw which is in sort of a violet looking magenta type color and then i have a deeper blue now again i'm not going to get into doing a, a lot of explanation on how to process the ir video just know you can do it and, and a lot of the basics are number one you need to sw switch the red and blue channel and then you get that dark you know you get that blue sky rather than the dark sky in the regular IR and then the second thing is what you start doing is messing around with hues and saturations now each camera is a little bit unique when it comes to hues and saturations because it's going to be based upon their sensitivity to color and in that infrared spectrum so uh, because you have you know the red blue and green uh, the sites and you have the Bayer pattern which you know I've talked about before we have the three dots you know for each one of the colors and it's going to be based upon the sensitivity in each one of those native spectrums so anyways your eyes are probably glazing over at that but you know so if you do this you have to spend a, a little bit of time of experimenting but the first thing is flip the channels then go in and do uh, a hue uh, a hue and temperature sort of uh, you know play around with it a little bit and see what you come up with so anyways kind of wanted to share that with you so this all worked and so here we are with a modified full spectrum camera I can put whatever filter on so look for a little bit more on this coming I've got some new filters on order for this and I'm going to probably do another camera here pretty soon so we'll have some comparison videos to work with so anyways hopefully you're finding a little bit of this interesting let me know in the bottom what you think about IR photography IR videography etc and hey don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video cheers